Yeah, my short was in last year, and I think since that, yeah, I, I wrote and directed a short which was in it last year, and then I think Sensation was in it last year as well. I'm sure Studs was here before. Yeah, there's been a few I think that have been here. Compare Year's Bounty as well. Any festival really I've been to is how much it's part of the culture there, and I think Dublin is kind of it's getting there too now. Whereas like people in the street know about it, which is a lovely thing. Do you know what I mean? For it to be part of the the makeup of the city for a couple of weeks, I think is really important. And I think with every year, it's kind of uh, it's getting better. And I and uh, so I think that's really important for us to identify ourselves with that as a yeah as a form of storytelling again. You know, because we're good at telling stories generally. And I think if the man on the street kind of knows about it and is proud of it, as is beginning to happen, I think then uh, we'll be in a really good place. So I suppose the, the big change in terms of how games are developed and the opportunities that are out there for independent companies and say students that want to set up is I suppose the fact that um, you know the, the iPad and the iPhone have made these new markets available and also just the tool sets that people use to make games uh, just become, they're so ubiquitous and easy to use now. It's actually quite easy for people to get started in the games industry and uh, you know make their first game and get it developed and actually sell it at a profit on say the, the App Store or the Android market. I mean I think personally that's the biggest change. It's the fact that it's just kind of become democratized which is the, you know, and it's very easy for people to, to get their stuff out there and actually commercialize them. Uh, yeah, it was called Script to Screen and it was a kind of a panel discussion myself, Mike Cocaine, the producer of Hardy Bucks, and Chris Tordoff, the writer and performer. And we were basically just going through the evolution of the series from its origins as kind of little mini web skits that the guys did on their own through Storyland and into two series on RT. I think festivals are ever more desperately needed because the American studios have so totally dominated the box office now that you just genuinely cannot see films outside of the studio system without being in Dublin, let's say. Um, so, and even for those of us in Dublin, there must be 90% of the films here that we wouldn't see in a cinema if they weren't here at the festival. Well, you know, in general, if you don't make Iron Man and the Flush Man and Superman and this kind of men stuff, you always need festival. Otherwise, it's very difficult to get the movie work and, you know, you know the people, they go and watch it. So festival is a great place for people like me who try to do something uh, that that is not a big blockbuster who is, who is not fashionable or is not really the subject of today that everybody wants to talk about. And the festival, they're absolutely necessary. They are vital for us. Making movies, you know, especially live action, is like, is like taking hard drugs, I would say. You know, like you get high and you're like, woo, 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 woo. And then, you know, when, when it's finished, you go down and you're like, I will never, ever do that. And then after one month, you forget and you start again. The childhood memory that I had was my grandmother who brought me to the cinema, you know, that was in a small city in the northern of Iran. And, you know, any time that was a question of kissing, you know, a man would say, they're going to do it. And, they, you know, she, she would cover my eyes and my cousin's eyes. And we only heard, they're going to do it. And we always thought, what are, going, what are they going to do, you know? And imagine, you know, with your imagination, you just go much more further than, you know, imagining just two people kissing. So, you know, we were like in hardcore stuff, you know, like, whoa. So, you know, my whole childhood, the biggest memory was like, they're going to do it. And for many years, I didn't know what they were going to do until finally I saw the same film on VHS and it was just kissing. Uh, I'm excited to be here. Unfortunately, I don't have more time to actually enjoy the city. You know, I've been dying to come here for such a long time. I just arrived today and I leave in the morning. So uh, it's a bit too rushed, but uh, hopefully I'll at least get to get back. Because when I was landing at the airport, I saw all these gorgeous golf courses everywhere. Uh, yeah, I play a guy, his name is Chris Faraday. He was basically you know, involved in this world of smuggling. and He left it behind to go legit for his wife and kids. And his brother-in-law does something really stupid for some very dangerous people. And so I need to basically uh, get back into the world of smuggling to fix the situation. 